हे माई नेम इज हैप्पी आई हेल्प कैंडिडेट्स इन डॉट नेट इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इन एनी इंटरव्यू इफ यू हैव एनी कन्फ्यूजन इन एनी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन देन पोस्ट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड आई विल मेक एन वीडियो ऑन इट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस क्वेश्चन तो लेट्स नो वट आर द जेनरिक्स एंड वट प्रॉब्लम दे सॉल्व जेनरिक्स अलाउज अस टू मेक क्लासेस एंड मैथड्स टाइप इंडिपेंडेंट और वी कैन से टाइप सेफ नाउ वट वट इज दिस टाइप इंडिपेंडेंट लेट मी शो यू द कोड एग्जाम्पल हेयर यू कैन सी वी हैव दिस कैलकुलेटर क्लास राइट हेयर एंड दिस कैलकुलेटर क्लास हैज वन स्टैटिक मैथड विच इज आर इक्वल इट इज डूइंग नथिंग बट इट इज कंपेयरिंग दीज इंटीजर वैल्यूज एंड देन रिटर्निंग द बूल वैल्यू एस बेस्ड ऑन द कंपेरिजन so here it will receive the comparison and if this this is a static method that's why it is called directly from the class only so if this is uh, true then it will print true and if the comparison is false then it will return false so in this case if we will try to compare the integers then it will work because here it is type strongly typed to integer but if we will try to compare the strings with this r equal method then it will not work so that's how it has some limitations now what we want that this method should also be able to compare the strings also so for this there is one approach which uh, so as i said this r equal the first one will work but the second one comparing the strings will not work so one solution for it is to use the object instead of integers this is one way to uh, compare it and it will work for both for integers and strings but there is one problem with it and the problem is that it involves boxing because this method will convert the integer type to object or or whether it is integer to object or string to object so that requires boxing because it is converting a value type to a reference type and that will impact the performance so that is not good so now let's see in the code in the visual studio code that what is this problem and how we will solve it through generics let me show you the code so this is the code and as i said that this will not work and it will give an error cannot convert from string to int so we have generix to resolve it generix can be applied on methods or can on class only or so let's try to make this method generic first so first of all we will put t here in this method and then we will do like this so basically we are making this r equal methods at generic so now you can see the error has been removed and this program will now give this string value so let me show you the output the output will basically the uh, equal space string equal so basically uh, it should be true and then false so see we have this true because 4 is equal to 4 and false because interview is not equal to happy so that's why false so this is how we will make our methods generic that is one way but the another and the more popular way is to make the class generic when you are making the class generic and that you will do by putting this t here and now your class is generic and how you will use your class like this sorry in this is integer and this is string comparison so see now your class is generic and when you are making your class generic then all the method inside the class will be generic so that is the additional benefit of a generic class as comparison to the generic method so now again we will see what will be the output and output will be the same see it is true and false so that's how generic works it basically the strongly typed thing are now loosely typed and it is your method is now type independent which is the main purpose of the generic so if you have any question on this uh, question then you can 
ask me in the comment box and i will try to answer them as soon as possible so let's just one more time see the definition so generics allows us to make classes and methods type independent or type safe that is the purpose 